Shalom. I want to begin this lesson by giving all praise, all glory, all honor unto Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem Rakakwadash. Yahweh is the true name for the Heavenly Father, who this word ignorantly calls God, and the true name for his only begotten Son is Yahweh Shah, who this word ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Okay. Also want to give double honors unto my teachers, the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well in peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered abroad. Back here again with another lesson. Hey, and Lowell in this lesson is edifying, man. Okay, because when it truly comes down to it, it is wisdom, this knowledge, and this understanding is going to be the stability of our times to come. All right. So I just wanted to go. Uh, I had a few precepts. And, uh, you know, really going to flow through the spirit, but really wanted to just speak upon uh, the podcast dudes, man, you know, concerning uh, the Fresh and Fit podcast. You got uh, the, uh, uh, the Tate Brothers. OK, you had uh, Ke Kevin Samuels. OK, and hey, the things that they're saying aren't wrong. OK, especially when they go, you know, into, you know, the characteristics of a woman. OK, but. You know, especially if you are an Israelite, an Israelite man, all right, you know, and you need to be teaching what's coming out of the Bible, okay? Because, hey, the Bible is a book of prophecies, and the Lord has sent forth his prophets, okay, to give forth that warning before, hey, the return of our Lord, Yahweh Shah, who is what ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, and ultimately the end of this current rulership, all right, which is being run by the so called white man. OK, which is biblical national national uh, slot, get a little tongue twister for me. National uh, nationality uh, is Esau Edom. OK, so, you know, I, I had a few precepts, but again, you know, and all, we know the Lord isn't going to use the high of this world, man. That's what it says in uh, first Corinthians, uh, the first chapter. OK, the Lord is going to use the ones that are are low. Okay, matter of fact, let's begin with that one. Um, okay. Because if the Lord, you know, wanted, you know, they hey, the word to be pushed, and he will use, you know, these famous athletes, okay, or these famous singers, or these famous influencers, man. Okay, if the Lord w w was looking into fame and all this crazy shit. No, the Lord is using the low on this side, which is his uh, his men that you see pushing this word. Okay. So this is the book of First Corinthians chapter uh, one. And I believe starting at verse 26, for ye see your calling brethren. So this is a calling. Okay, when the Lord calls you. Hey, what does the scripture say? For many are called, but few are chosen. So the Lord is calling. Okay. Uh, and it says, For ye see your calling, brethren, how that not many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are called. You see? But it says, But the Most High has cho chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. Okay. And that's pertaining unto us. And it says, And the Most High has chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty, okay? And, and that's how the Lord is doing it with his men. See, his, the, the men of the Lord on this side aren't going to have uh, all accolades, all right? They're not going to be put on a, a prestigious level, all right, in the eyes of the, of, of the world, okay? This is, you know, the men of the Lord are, you know, living the life of a Clark Kent, if, you know, if I may say. So let's go to verse 28, and it says, and base things of the world and the things which are despised. The Most High has chosen, yeah, the things which are not to bring to not things that are. Okay, you see? And, and we are despised in this world, man. Okay, so that's just a, a further back to point, you know? And at the end of the day, again, the Bible being a book of prophecy, and these prophecies will come to pass, man. Okay, Habakkuk or Habakkuk, the second chapter, you know? And many more uh, other scriptures go into it, man. You know, so, and it's, you know, and a, um, it's the spirit, man, because uh, the beloved brother Yeshia uh, from the camp, okay, you know, he made a lesson, you know, not particularly going into the same thing, but, you know, speaking upon the podcast dudes and, you know, in the spirit, hey, I was feeling the same way, man. 
you know, been one to, you know, just go into how hey, those dudes are through. All right. Even though they do bring forth information, which is, you know, uh, a positive in a way. All right. But a hey, you got to be warning people, especially if, you know, because a lot of people look at these dudes as wise. They look at these dudes as something. All right. But little do they know they really don't have no information. All right. They don't have the truth. All right. And the only way for you to obtain the truth, the 100 percent truth is come under, you know, the, uh, you know, come under the apostles and elders, a great millstone. All right. And get this knowledge of the Bible. All right. Because, again, the wisdom, knowledge and understanding. All right. Is going to keep you stable in the perilous times to come, as it says in Second Timothy. OK, the third chapter. All right, so let's go back to Isaiah, the 34th chapter, in the 16th verse. It says, Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. None of these shall fail. Okay, what is it? What does it say? None of these shall fail. It's pertaining unto these prophecies, man. Meaning, hey, they're not going to come. They're, they are going to come to naught, man. They're not going to fail. Okay, it's going to come true. Okay, so you got to seek out of the book of the Lord and read, man. And that's a. a the Lord is just showing that, you know, he doesn't want a certain amount of people, man. OK, but it says none shall want her mate. So what is it? What does it say for for none shall want her mate? And meaning that hey, these different books, OK, can't equate, OK, to the, uh, the scriptures, the Bible. All right. Because there's no prophecies in these different books, man. You know, and it says from my mouth, it had commanded and his spirit. It had gathered them, okay? So, it was another one in the book of Second Ezra, all right? It's just to show you that, you know, hey, these scriptures, uh, Second Ezra 15, starting at the top, and it says, Behold, speak down in the ears of my people these words of prophecy, you see? Which I will put in thy mouth, said the Lord, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. So, these words are faithful and true, all right? And we're going to see in the latter times, how faithful and true they are, okay? Especially when these prophecies come to pass, all right? And we're going to see how confounded these other different Israelite groups are hey, when the prophecy of Revelation, the 13th chapter, and the 16th verse, the mark of the beast, it hey, comes to fruition because hey, we hey, we seen the gradualism, man. All right, now you can go into stores, you can go to um, Whole Foods, and you could pay with your hand, you know? Even in Sweden, Sweden's, you know, it's normal. And many people in Babylon have chips in their hands. All right. They just on the low right now, you know, waiting for it to be OK, because Esau Edom is going to go. And when I say Esau Edom, speaking about the so so-called white man, the self-proclaimed white man. OK, which biblically they are the Edomites. You know, he's going to go out with using cash and he's going to come in with the new. That's the CBDCs, which means central uh bank digital currency all right so this is second edges the 16th chapter and i'm going to start at the seventh the 70 the seventh uh, uh the seventh verse and it says for they shall be in every place and the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the lord all right and this is what's coming you know this prophecy has not been fulfilled yet all right america has never seen a time of trouble in its own land OK, and hey, that's happening real soon. And hey, that's what the Lord is saying, man. OK, verse 71, they shall be like mad men, sparing none. OK, when it says they shall be like mad men, that's speaking about Esau, Edom. All right, Revelation, the 12th chapter and the 12th verse. Hey, it says because they know of that they have but a short time. All right. So it says, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. That's right. OK. They're going to come down with the great persecution upon the, the believers of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah. Okay. Verse 72. For they shall waste away, for they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Right. And they're going to do that by, you know, martial law, you know, sending in these UN troops. Okay. It's going to be FEMA's, uh, FEMA uh, camps. All right. Verse 73. Then shall they be known who are my chosen. And they shall be tried as gold in the fire. All right. And it says here, O my beloved, said the Lord, behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. You see, so it's for warning us that 
hey, the days of trouble are at hand. All right. And it says, be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for the Most High is your God. Right. So Yahweh Bashem is going to be God and his elect, his chosen in the times to come. Right. And it says the point, verse 76, and the guide of them who keep my precepts, slaki, and the God of them who keep my commandments and precepts. Okay. And where do you find these precepts? You find these precepts in this Bible. All right. So it's just to further show you that, again, the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding is going to keep us stable, man. All right. And these dudes don't got it. You know, they could tell you how to win in this world. But, hey, hey, hey how shot? They told us, let this world go. <laughs> OK. A man. Uh, what does it say? You know, uh, a man can't serve two masters, man. You know, he will uh, love the one. And despise the other, hate the other. Okay, you can't serve Yahweh Bashimal Shah and serve Mammoth, man. You know? So, you know, uh, don't want to ramble too much, but yeah, I just wanted to bring this out through the Holy Spirit. Lord willing, it was edifying. Until the next time, giving all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rekakudash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, every well, peace, blessing unto the elect. Till next time, Shalom, and the Bible Bar.